Ow. <laughs> Maybe I'll remember the story in the middle of the game. Oh, well, you're still not talking in your mic. I know. Is your mic on? Yeah. I'm. You're loud. I'm loud. Everybody's loud but you. Okay, fine. Theme song, theme song, theme song. <laughs> I don't like it when you like... I don't when I what? When you like try... I can't hear you as well as normal. We didn't even do a really good sound check. But, okay, well, I can I mean, do it's fine. No, don't touch no, it. No, I'm no, going to no. adjust everything. No, I'm going to hit everything. I'm going to move everything. Don't. Watch this. Oh, my God. Don't. Stop. Oh, my God. You just turned. When wife gives you lemons. See, now I can't really can't hear you. Jesus, all I did was turn it up. Hey, hold on. Don't call me Jesus. I'm Joy. You're on the, you're turning up the wrong one. No shit. I was turning down the one that we used last time. Okay. Hi. Hi, John. How are you? Not as good as you. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. My back hurts. My hip still hurts, too. And I fucking lost a gift card, and it's freaking me out. Cause it's I don't, here. Well, I know it's here. I just don't know where it is. And I have a feeling you moved it. Because I would have known where it is. Because I don't lose things. Yeah. The only thing I've lost is... Three boxes of dots and a box of bottle caps, but that's just because and glue sticks and and glue sticks. But the dogs ate the candy. It's probably why they're sleeping now. They're sugar crashing. Oh, dicks! I'm so mad at them. Oh, fuck faces! I know. Oh, I was like, "Are you serious?" How right loud now? would it be for me to take off my sweatshirt right now? I don't know. I can pause it if you want me no, to. No, no. Let them hear it. It'll be fun. Hold on. Oh, this is so... Ex- this is titillating. Did Ooh. you just say titillating? Yeah. Is it like titty-ating? Yeah, that's exactly Titty-ing. what it is. Titty-ing. Yeah, it, it's, it has nothing... Boobies? <laughs> has... Boobies. <laughs> <laughs> titties, titties, titties. <laughs> boobies, boobies. There, how loud was that? It wasn't loud at all. Cause Would this you... be like a diffuser thing? Oh, my goodness. He put his mask on. Well, maybe it'll help from the... Is there a lot of that? Only when you talk. No. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're feisty. You look like you're ready to punch. I am. You want to punch me in the fucking <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> you know it'll help your back? You lick my butthole? <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> no. <laughs> it doesn't help when you agree. Oh, you're messed up. I'm you're not. a sick fuck. You are. I'm not. I went Christmas shopping with your mom all day today. That was ridiculous. Because we were done. We weren't done. I got everything that was on the list that we needed to be done. And seven stores that could have been done in one. No. By the way, finding a Steam card was ridiculous. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I ended up having to go to Walmart. I could not find a Steam card. Hey, if everybody listens really close, you can hear the baby in the background singing his little butt off. (laughs) I say the baby, but he's nine. He is our baby. He's almost ten. He's going to be ten next month. (laughs) <laughs> he's getting seven there. He is. He's going to be so embarrassed. Don't tell him. I'm not. Um, Until he's like 14. <laughs> in front of his first girlfriend. He's not having a girlfriend at 14. Whatever. Don't whatever. No, he's not having a girlfriend at 14. He's going to be like 30. <laughs> okay. And I better like her. You will never. That is. Stop it. Okay. That you will is. Never a, ever find a daughter in law that you will like. That's not true. And I don't. I because none of them will be good enough for you. I. Boy. Tr- I truly resent that, and it really makes me angry that you say that. Because that's not true. Because I massage so many girls in that age frame that I get along with that when they went to high school, they were sending me their prom pictures and now they're in college. So what you're saying, if they were dating your kids, you'd be okay. I would be perfectly okay. Cause they're good girls and I like them and they're, they're fun and they're not stuck up. And I just want, <laughs> I just want, want 
I just want one. You know what, though? Screw you. I Like I just said, I was Christmas shopping all day with your mom. I did want, you guys have fun? We did have fun. Awesome. Fuck you. No, we really did. We had Jersey Mike's in the car. Because that's all you can do. That's the only thing you can do is eat in the car. So we had Jersey Mike's. We, Marks. We, went, we had Jersey Mark's. And Jersey Mark's. <laughs> Isn't that Massachusetts Mark? <laughs> Boston Marks. That was the dumbest um, thing Boston I ever Marks. Said in my life. Get it, get it. Boston Marks, Massachusetts. Ah! That was okay. You know what? What? Mine was dumb, but that was the <laughs> dumbest thing I've ever heard. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard today. Listen, shh. Listen, can you smell that? No, I can't hear anything. Anyways, no, we went to Target. We went to Presto Pasta. We went to Hook Burger. Uh, Are you done with your daily planner? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're a dick. I know. I'm a little bit. I'm you kinda, kind, of, kind of poking at you. Yeah, bit. and it's because you know I'm in pain. And when I'm in pain, you want to be all. Oh, that's when I'm tough because you're in pain. Yeah, I need a massage. I need a. I need me to give me a massage because I know I'm good. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Is that like that book? That one time that book made, I I got fucked in my own ass by my own ass or whatever the <laughs> hell that Chuck Tingle. I <laughs> fell in love with that? my own ass. Yes. I, yeah, that's what the hell. I, you know, his books are only like pages long and he charges two ninety nine, and because the titles are so asinine, people buy them, and he makes money. I don't even That's know crazy. if it's a he. It's probably a she. It's pretty crazy. But like, remember when uh, was it Ariana Grande? I think it was Ariana Grande when she spit on a donut. Right. And do you remember that vaguely? Vaguely. Okay. Well, he wrote a book like the next day because he they're so small. Like, Ariana Grande falls in love with the donut and fucks the donut. Right. I mean, Chuck Ting, I mean, if my phone was working, if we had Wi-Fi, hey, hey, guess what? We still don't have Wi-Fi. But it's approaching. It is approaching. I'd have, you know what? I actually do have a couple of notes on my phone. Holy ducktails. But you know what? What? You don't know? You're, the baby has the phone. Little dude has that thing. Oh, he's little dude now? Well, he's not a baby anymore. He's just grown up. He's I don't know. a baby to little dude in like one show. Amazon keeps showing me sad puppies when I well, try and... maybe because you're sad. Chuck... Okay, anyways, Chuck Tingle. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I almost... Chuck Tingle? Is, is that like penis wrinkle? I don't know. I almost... Uh, in a way... Let's see. It's very smart what they're doing. But in a way, it very much undermines what indie authors are trying to do. Just like a lot of indie authors out there, they write these awful, awful books to the point where people think that indie books are bad. But they're really not. I mean, I've read, I read mostly indie now, and I'm super proud of what we've done. But then there's people who just fuck around and be like, oh my God, I wrote a book. Right. And just because they want to say they wrote one? Yeah. Or just because, and some of them think they can and they can't. Well, okay. Let me ask you this. Hold on. Okay. And I feel bad not talking to any. If, I love you. If, if, if there's like an app where, like, say I open an app and I'm like, write this. Today it was a blue day, blah, 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 blah. And I can, you know, make up some fucking story and it writes it down and then uh-huh. it becomes a book. Is that a book? Yeah. So. You don't really write a book then if you do it that way. But, I mean, think of people you who... You think a book. <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, pe- what the fuck else are you doing? Think of people who have awful carpal tunnel or have no hands. I mean, if it's a way to write it down, I mean... Hey, where's the turtle with no arms and no legs? <laughs> right where you left him. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a man in with no arms, no legs in front of your house? Matt. <laughs> What do you call a man with no arms and no legs on your wall? Jesus? Art. (laughs) (laughs) My answer was way cooler. (laughs) What do you call a man with no legs? What do you call a man with no arms and no legs? What do you call a man with no arms and no legs? What do you call a man with no arms and no legs in the ocean? Bob? Yeah. What do you call a woman with one leg? What do you call a waitress with one leg? No, fuck. What was it? 
Where does a waitress work with one leg? I hop. <laughs> oh, I was going to say Coco's, but... <laughs> Waste station. <laughs> Waste station. <laughs> oh, shit. For like the four locals that live in that is fantastic. Um, there's more. There's Art, Matt, Bob. Turtle. Turtle. Have you ever seen that? Have you seen that video of the little kid where the lady's interviewing all these kids and the kids all, I like turtles. <laughs> Have you seen that? <laughs> is that a proud moment as a prayer? You're like, oh, little Billy Joe was on TV. Look. And it's so funny because she's like, a luck turtle. He does. He goes, a luck turtle. You know what? He's the same guy who was videoed later and, and interviewed later in <laughs> Vegas. Is it, what are you going to do if you win that million dollars? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to co- get cocaine and hookers. hookers. <laughs> he's the same guy. <laughs> and that poor, that poor reporter was like, oh, shh. What if she like was like, click, hey, so uh, you want to hook up later? If you win, um, I'll suck your dick. <laughs> I'll do it anyway. Fuck it. <laughs> you got some blow? Why do they call it blow when you sniff it? Why is it a blow job when you're sucking a dick? I don't know. You know, once I tried to blow in somebody's penis and he got really mad at me. It probably hurt. And said that you can blow up. And then he had like a whole scientific thing where he's like, hey. you blow up my bladder and then it pop What? I had a fart. You know what? When you said hey, you're such a dumbass. <laughs> That's a good one. You know when you said hey, I for a second thought you were going to be like, don't talk about giving other guys blowjobs. But no, not not my husband. No, he's like, I got a fart. It was in the middle of one of your blowjob stories. You're such a Because you were blowing and not sucking. Inter- in- I almost said internet. <laughs> you can tell what's on my mind right I now. I need internet so bad. <laughs> um, I got no Lifetime movies. <laughs> Fuck you. It's Christmas time. My name is Joy. This is my time to shine. Why the fuck aren't you Joy? I am Joy. I just wrapped a fuck down of presents. I know. Um, Oh, speaking of presents. um, So Reddit, which is a website. um, No way. Fuck you. Oh, my God. Anybody who's going to listen to this probably knows what Reddit is. What if they don't? Okay, anyways. Listen, number seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. <laughs> Reddit. It's this little thing. There's a little funny face. It almost looks like a little alien dude with big ears and a little alien thing on the end. It's called Reddit. Uh-huh. Re, 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 re did it. Anyways. I act like I'm a master of it. I was only on it like for like a month before we moved. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, every year Reddit does a secret Santa. And... um. Last year, my secret Santa was a woman, I think in Wisconsin. Oh, remind me to tell you my Wisconsin story. Actually, let me write that down. Um, oh, shit. I got something to tell, too. Um, so last year, it was a chick in Wisconsin. She just bought a house, and she was expecting her first baby. Her, and her husband just got married. So she was super easy. Like, I made her a baby quilt. I got her, like, an ornament that was baby's first Christmas. I got her, like, fuzzy socks. Like, I I got her some shit. It was super cool. Anyway, so this year, I get this kid who's probably no older than 24. And he's like, I like Dungeons and Dragons. I like LARPing. In fact, one time when I was LARPing, I hit a chick and I gave her a con- I don't know. I don't know. I know he? what you're going to say, but this is. I need to know where he's from. Um, Long Beach. Well, okay. I don't know if he's from Long Beach. Okay. We're going to stop right there. We're going to back this shit up for a second. Okay. He's from Long Beach. I don't know. if He's, he's a LARPing little Long Beach LARPer. That's fine. There's nothing wrong okay, with that. Okay, but I'm just going to say, I sent it to I've Long Beach. I've seen I Love You, man. I sent it to Long Beach. It's not I love you, man. It's role models. Whatever role models. But, Same okay, thing. I sent his gift to Long Beach, but I don't know if that's where he's from. He okay. may just be going to school there. Okay, okay. go. So Sorry. he may just be going to school there. Uh-huh. But you made him sound like he's straight out of West by God, Virginia or something. <laughs> oh, my God, I like me some Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> All slow and shit. He's okay, like the well, smartest one in this town. Why? Because I'm... Double dungeon master. Okay. Um, well, how does somebody from Long Beach Copenhagen? talk? <laughs> like, uh, uh, how does somebody how, do that? Long Beach talk? They talk like us. Normal. Well, what's a surfer sound like? <laughs> Dude, I like uh, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> and, uh, some, and, so, and I like, uh, so, I like wait, some LARPing. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, <laughs> so if you're a, a, a surfer person, uh-huh. say you're, that's like your game, you're a surfer. Uh-huh. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's my surfer laugh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So you automatically are like, dude, I'm going to be a surfer one day. And you get on a board and you hit the water and you're like, bro. <laughs> and now all of a sudden you're like, dude, bro, dude. I like it, bro. Well, that's how Paul Rudd was in um, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Remember, he's teaching him how to surf. And he's like, man, I don't know what time it is. I got rid of my watch. And he's like, dude, that's fucking cool. And he's like, no, because I have a clock on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it's just strange. It's very stereotyped. Dude, dude, dude. Okay. Well, anyways, he's all, dude, so dude. <laughs> Uh, I like surfing. I mean, no, he didn't say he'd like, damn it. <laughs> You're gonna, you know, there's like one out of like all four of those people that listen listening are like, bro, bro, I like surfing, dude. And you kind of offended me and stuff. Okay. <laughs> you know, you know who I'm trying to emulate when I do the surfer, dude? Keanu Reeves. No. Point blank. It's point even blank, worse. Point, point break. It's even worse. Johnny Utah. No, it's even worse. Are you ready? The surfer guy on SpongeBob. <laughs> dude, that's who I'm trying to emulate. This little blue surfer dude on fish. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I need to write that down. I just threw a um, pine cone on the ground. I know. Um, I heard a slam. Surfer SpongeBob fish. Okay. Did you write? Uh-huh. Uh, anyways, so. I had a very hard time finding a gift for this one. Last year was so easy, and she loved it. So this year, I tried to ask my 14-year-old, who does not like anyone, but especially does not like me right now, um, to help me. Because I was like, ooh, because my 14-year-old likes you know same things. He doesn't LARP yet. Um, but I was like, come on, Caleb, help me out. And he was like, I'll help you out, and then did not help me. So I ended up having to send him like a Dungeons and Dragons blanket and I sent him an anyways. Okay. Anyways, I got a present from my secret Santa from Reddit and I have it under the tree because I'm going to wait until March to open it. June, July, maybe next Christmas. Why? Because I'm so afraid I'm going to be disappointed. Oh, right now, please. it's the coolest gift it's ever. Okay. You can be disappointed. <laughs> what last... if you open it and it's like some gazillion dollar check? I don't know. It came from Amazon, so I don't think so. But last year, her. It's from Jeff Bezos himself. Did you know? And he's like, Jonathan. $1 million. Did you know Bill Gates participates every year in the Reddit sequence? How do you Santa? know that's not Bill Gates? Cause because it says Hyundai on the box. Yeah. If it said Microsoft, you're like, oh, shit. No, because Bill Gates, he like went to the girl's house and he like decked out her house in Microsoft shit. And she's like, I like Apple. And he's like, fuck you, bitch. Um, he took it all back. Like, well, <laughs> guess you don't want this then. Call but Steve I, Jobs. He's dead. I don't do it to get the present. I do it to give it because it's so much. I just gave a fucking stranger a crit. And it's so much fun. I get that. I mean, and I think it would have been more fun with, <laughs> dude, um, I think his present would have been more fun if I could have went shopping more. He's like, um, I like surfing <laughs> and stuff. Also, I bought him dragon socks and they're not going like to get there. I like wax on my board. <laughs> I like turtle. Tur- I like turtle wax. If you're not local, turtle. dude, I'm going to That's how he you. says it. I like turtles. That's what he says. Turtles. I like turtles. It's not even turtles. Arc. It's turtles. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make you watch <laughs> it's that. It's like that. What's that? Who's, whose joke was that? He's all, the the beer. Oh, it. The beer. It wasn't. John Licked Reed. it at the hune. I forget who it was. He was funny though. He was yeah. Um, he was a teacher. What the fuck page is he on? <laughs> that shit's funny. Brody, you cool? <laughs> Did he say yes? Pretty sure. Okay. Um, he's nine. I think he's got that. Yeah, but I don't like. <laughs> yeah. Like, not to bring anything down, but we also know like a forty-five-year-old lady who drowned in the bathtub. So we do. Yeah, that guy that used to work with you. Oh, yeah, but his his woman had like some sort of weird... Oh, he just coughed. Okay, he's cool. That's all it, I need. It could have been a fart and the water was all... <laughs> turtles. Boop, boop, boop. I like turtles. Um, I, like, I love turtles. I only have one more thing. Fuck, fuck, we blew through it's this okay. so fast. we got other things we to talk snorted about. Through... I have stories to tell. Oh, okay. 
Do you want to tell a story or do you want me to just finish I was my list? T- I was thinking about AT&T and I was... <gasps> I have one more story. Go. No, I don't want to I have two more stories. You were thinking about nope, AT&T? No, nope. mine does nothing. Mine are not recent. Mine is over the last decade this has happened. So tell us your most recent, please. Okay. Well, it's just two things. And one of them, I don't even know if it's true. I might be spreading false rumors because when Fact I... Fact check. When I read it, not on Reddit, but when I read it... um. It made me giggle, but then I had to leave, so I never got to figure out if it was true or not, and we don't get good signal here, so I can't check it, really. But, okay, so the COVID vaccine is coming. It's here. Right. Um, in fact, one of my nursing friends actually took it today. Right. Anyways, Henry Mayo, which is the hospital in Santa Clarita where we kind of live, um, Right. Um, anyways, okay. So the va- incorporated <laughs> the vaccine has to be refrigerated at a specific temperature, Correct. and in fact, San- Henry Mayo has three of the refrigerators. So oh, for one of them, because one of them has to be like super, super high or super like negative, like two fifty, and one of them has to be like super like sixty. Right. right. So some of the hospitals actually have to order the refrigerators before they can get the vaccines. Correct. Okay. So. I read this. This is what Do made you know, me. Hang on. There is a refrigerator company that's like, fuck yeah. The hard on. They're like, did you know there's four a, million dollars? Did you know price just went up? Did you know there's a refrigerator company that helped the vaccine? We should make it where they can only use our refrigerator, dudes. <laughs> Dude. Okay. It's a brother fuck company. It. High five, bro. It's a Pfizer and Let's Viagra. Let's go fucking surf it. <laughs> I fuck that. Voice. Like all seven, all seven people are like, dude. I know, like three surfers are gonna kill you. <laughs> so, um, bro. Okay, I heard you were talking smack and stuff. Bro. <laughs> you do voices so much better than I do. You dick sucking motherfucker, man. What? Huh? Anyways, uh-huh. so Wisconsin. This is what I don't know if it's true or not. But if it's true, it fucking made me. It hit me in the giggle zone. So Wisconsin is having a debate because as of right now, they're putting it in dry ice and there's going to be, they say it's going, we're going to have a shortage of dry ice because of this vaccine. Like, okay. Okay. But Wisconsin doesn't want to use their dry ice for the vaccine because they pack their cheese in it and cheese is more important than the vaccine. <laughs> like, Listen, we got Gouda. <laughs> Gouda We've cheese. got American Got good old We've American. It Italian? No, because it's We've Wisconsin. Got, There's it's all American cheese. Yeah, but it all came from different cows. I got an Italian cow. <laughs> I got a French cow. What are the cows' names? La Frenchie. <laughs> that was so sad. <laughs> Not that fast. <laughs> <laughs> like you could have even said baguette and it would have been better. <laughs> I got a German one named Schwitzel. <laughs> okay. All right. Your Italian one's called seasoning. Italian seasoning. <laughs> no, that was me. That was bad. Meatball. <laughs> no, no. It's a spaghetti. Mario. <laughs> it's Luigi. Luigi. <laughs> so anyways, that made... And each milk tastes a little different. A little because different. Because it's in a little different area, you know? One might be... I mean, you might have multiple... Thing, don't they have multiple udders on their nip? They don't thing? have multiple. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so yeah, one, they have the udder one's sack. like chocolate milk, one's low fat. One's, it's all <laughs> You're really good at that. Well, Did you know when you milk hello. a cow, you have to start from the top of the tea and like go down it? So I drain mine. <laughs> your tea? Grab at the base and push it out. You're titillating, you're titillating tea? Yeah, get that dog water off the end. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dog oh water. yeah! No, no. I'm yeah. not even going to explain that one right now. Please don't. It's so nasty. It's almost as nasty as my toe. That was so gross. Anyways, um, You're disgusting. The last thing I have is my Thursday, because my Thursday was amazing. <laughs> so I have not got to spend a day at the new oh. house yet. Yeah, because the right. kids, we don't have internet. So every day I have, or every, Monday through Friday, I have to take the kids to our old house to do school. Okay. And I get it. I understand. It's a blessing that we are capable of getting internet and that we're able to go to our old house. 
I get it. I get it. But it stinks not being able to hang out here. So Thursday, the internet dude was supposed to show up. So I went and I took the kids to school, to the old house, drove back home. And the internet guy gave us a time between nine to four. And I got home at like eight twelve. So I was like, I, I mean, even if he does show up, I got 45 minutes. I went and I took a shower. I shaved my legs in December. <laughs> I never shave my legs in December. I lotioned. I deep conditioned my hair. And then I put on Christmas leggings and a sweater. And I moved the furniture and I wrapped presents in the middle of my brand new living room. It was fantastic. You and had me going really good until you were like, and then I got presents. And I started wrapping. I was like, yeah, you talk about getting out there, shaving legs, looking <laughs> hot, December, looking good. And then you're like, and then I got some hot tea, and I got some presents, <gasps> and tea. I sat down, and I started wrapping. I'm like, that's just not hot anymore. I did have hot tea. <laughs> I also made pot stickers. So, so speaking of that, okay, I want to talk about the jackassery that I am. Okay, well, can I talk about, like, okay, so quick, internet guy shows up, says there's something wrong with the box on the telephone pole, and I was like, dude, the lady that we just bought this home from had internet from you guys, because you guys have the monopoly here in Val Verde. Fuck you. So anyways, he's like, oh, it'll take, the guy will be here in an hour with the cherry picker, which nobody knows what a cherry picker is anymore, so it's a bucket ladder truck, whatever. Right. Anyways, he's like, he'll be here in an hour, and then I'll come back and install it all. I was like, "Uh uh-huh, cool. Three hours later, Bucket Dude shows up. Bucket Dude takes about 45 minutes. He gets it done. He comes over to me, and he's like, okay, it's all done. Now the installer guy needs to come back and fix the wires. And I was like, okay. And he's like, but it's kind of late. So he's probably not going to come today. He'll have to come tomorrow. And I was like, well, I work tomorrow, and my husband works tomorrow. He won't be able to get here till three. And he's like, not my problem, basically. I did what I needed to do. Merry fucking Christmas. Suck my dick. Goodbye. And then he went on his little bucket way. And then. Motherfucker. I'm a fucking bucker. Motherfucker. Anyways. I hope he got a fucking flat tire. <laughs> I hope that That's installer so fucking lost his tools when he left. That's so and all mean. All his fucking tools fell out of the back. Fucking cocks. I was so. And so, yeah. So we still don't. Have internet. I know. So, it's up to John to save the day. So let's go back on this internet story. Let's 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 go full circle here. Circle of life. So it starts out when I went and I ordered went to order internet and AT and T's the only shit bag up here. Like the big they're the, like the big dog in this valley. They're the dog water. Yeah, which is never mind. <sighs> Uh, so, uh, 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 uh. it's the pre come off the tip of your penis. Damn it. You I why? Fuck, I couldn't help it. Oh my God. I watched it bubble out of your body. I like know. it started in your the so tip anyway, of your dick. And, okay. So, I already knew I hated AT&T from having to deal with them when we had them for like eight years at the old house. Yeah. Before we got good internet and got spoiled. Yep. So, so, spoiled. so I went to them. And and I was really already hesitant. And then they ran me around a little bit. And then they told me that the lady who lived here before us still had service here and that they couldn't. I said, well, motherfucker, I have the deed to this house. You're all, I am the lady that lives I, there. Right. I am that lady now. And they were like, well, tough shit. She has to turn it off herself. So we freaking hustle, hustle, hustle. Finally get a hold of the lady. <laughs> she says it's disconnected. Today was the last day. It should be all in the system. So I call the place back and say, hey, it's all connected. They go, yeah, we don't know what the fuck you're talking about. AT&T tells me I'm stupid. But they say it like this. You're stupid. Jonathan. And I don't mean it like that, but you couldn't understand how stupid he was telling me I was. <laughs> okay. Like, any time I called, I got someone who who did not speak a clear English named Brian and David <laughs> and Sue. <laughs> But they couldn't even say those words clear. And I don't mean that. I mean that in the most respectful way. I appreciate them doing their job. But anyway, I ramble on. Anyway, so I go. So so I finally get tired of dealing with them. And I go, you know what? Fuck you guys. Cancel that order. I'll go through the company. She went through. 
who like basically subbed the line out of AT and T. Cost me a few bucks more, but I talked to the lady and she was nice and it was easy to deal with. So I hook it up. They say no problem. Two week turnaround time. So now we're at a week and a half. We get the installer out here with Joy Story. Installer says you'll come back. You'll have your internet. Nothing happens. I call the next day, and they say, yeah, he won't be back until the 18th. Mm, uh, 23rd, actually. <laughs> 23rd. And I go, fuck this. I go, <laughs> And they're like, what? And I go, really? We're in a contract? This is how we do a contract? You, you don't take care of your people? And she goes, well, how do you want me to proceed? Mm. So I said, well, you know what? Pound sand, bitch. I'm out. Cancel it. No contract. We're out. So then I call AT&T again, and they say, sure. We can get you service there. This is where my dumb anger has come in and cost us time. So, did you hear the kid yell at you? No, it was, no. Oh, so here's what happens. Anyway, this has been a long dragged out. I went do it, way do it. too long. No, it's perfect. So the AT&T guy comes over or, or, and then flakes on Joy and flakes on the whole thing and says you can't do it. So I cancel that order and then I call AT&T back and I go... Okay, I'm at your mercy. Give me internet. And they go, we can't right now. I said, why? And they go, because there's service from someone else there now. That service was from me when I went to the other place and canceled. So I fucked us because I was impatient. And now we have to wait. But they said the 18th instead of the 23rd. So That was way too long a story for that. Let me tell you a funny story. Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ready? Hold on. Don't. Don't, don't judge. Hold on. I'm judging. Waterfront Village with my friend, the zombie, Jonathan. You're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. (laughs) (laughs) He liked turtles. I like turtles. I liked it. And his name was Jonathan. That was my friend. (laughs) So let me tell you this AT&T story I have. Do you remember when we got, when we were freaking out, because the AT&T, the broadband sucked, we finally had a guy, Tech, come out, and he came out to look, and I, we both walk out there, and we're outside, and I have to move this fence. Uh-huh. So he could get to the phone lo- phone box. <laughs> I go, yeah, shoot, I can move that fence, no problem, brother. <laughs> I move the fence, and as I do, I guess I woke up the ground wasp nest that was under that the gate <laughs> i remember this. and i go what what is happening and they are fucking pissed and they are swarming and all i could do was yell run at&t guy run <laughs> and i start running in the house and, and he stands there looks at me for a second and then i see him start waving his little clipboard and start running behind me <laughs> like he's trying to land a jet i was I was like I was like 25 feet from the door and I got stung like six times. I remember that. He got hit like four or five times and I did the look on his face and I was like, run, at t guy, run! <laughs> so that was my at t guy story. There is a naked... No. No, he's not naked. There is a almost naked baby behind you. Hello, Brody. Hi. How are you? Good. Enter the child. Enter the child. We are now on PG-20. <laughs> NC-17. PG and a half. How was your week? Loud. <laughs> he's got nothing. Nothing. He always wants to be in the center of attention. You put him there and he's like, bang, I'm going down. <laughs> He's got, his, he's got his dad's. He's got his dad's goods. Oh my god! Like you, oh you got to fight. I was telling uh, somebody the story about how, how, how you know we were talking about. I forget what we were talking about, but I was like, yeah, I get that. You know, controlling your feelings and it's hard because I go, you know, I I, I get really pumped when I race. I go, I I feel it. Like when I do the sim racing and when I race RC cars and stuff, I go, it it gets intense. Where where. Where, where my adrenaline feels like it's going so much, like I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna fucking pass out. <laughs> and I always think of you, and I'm like, don't lock your knees, <laughs> don't lock. Oh my god! And then I keep like visualizing this while I'm racing on the driver's <laughs> stand, RC racing, and I'm and like ten other people, and like, oh my god, I'm gonna fall down, and, and almost always I fuck it up at that point. 
fucking getting your head. Oh my god. Do you and picture it, me falling? Well, yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> because Joy had, Joy locked her knees and passed out at, at a band, band camp. camp. I sure did. Woke up with her flute and her. Ah. That was weird. Did you? Did I? Okay, I know I told the band camp story before. <laughs> right. Did I ever tell that, the Chipotle story? Oh, the one when you were pregnant? Yeah. Did I tell that? When before? you wanted to put your face in there and eat some <laughs> chips? <laughs> no, I was pregnant with Brody Odie Ding Dong, and my um, office, my chiropractor office, is like four doors down from Chipotle, and I was starving. Even my doctor is like, dude, you don't look very well. You need to go eat. So I walk next door, and there was one other person in Chipotle, because it wasn't even like lunchtime. And it was an old lady, white-haired lady, who decided to take her sweet fucking time. All I ordered was a cheese quesadilla and guacamole. That's all I ordered. And I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and like I'm not feeling good, and like things are starting to like black out and tunnel in and i swear to god this lady's like i want beans no not that many beans oh no i i like beans put more beans on no not that many beans there is 422 (laughs) beans in that bowl i want 423 i only wanted 317 (laughs) she just drives so i'm getting there i'm getting there and i finally get to where i'm about to pay the old bitch is gone and i remember reaching for my card and the next thing I know is some girl in Chipotle going, ma'am, ma'am, if you don't wake up, I'm going to have to call the 911 ambulance on you. And I was like, no, I'm just pregnant. <laughs> but I I don't remember doing it, but I laid my head down on the counter and blacked the fuck out. Good time. Yeah, but thankfully I did that so I didn't fall and hurt myself. And so I went and I... They handed me my food, and I ran to the chiropractor's office, and I walked in, and <laughs> Dr. Hong Kong was like, dude, are you okay? And I was like, no, I just passed out in Chipotle. I was like, I could never go there again. Never. Never go there Until again. Until next week. <laughs> I know. When I want another quesadilla. <laughs> Pregnant cravings. <laughs> Could I have a quesadilla with pickles, please? Mm, pickles sound good. I'm kind of hungry right now. Okay. Do you have any more stories? How was your week? No, you know what? I wanted. I know. I I saw something today. Okay. Okay. And it made me realize, like, man, made me wonder: were these people poor, and then they came into money, and they don't know how to deal with nice stuff? Because I see the dude. Okay, so you know, you see people like running around with their little flags out of their cars and Uh stuff. You know what? Whatever it is, whether it's a American flag, a pirate flag, a Trump flag, whatever it is, doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Ju- I don't judge. I think it's you know whatever. Yeah. But when you're rolling down the road in your Rolls Royce, uh huh, and you're rocking your freaking little window American flags off the top of your roof of your car, <laughs> I was like, they haven't had money very long. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like us. What is something we would do? Like if we got into money right now. I would buy me a 1967 Chevelle. Okay. SS396. Okay. And I'd buy me a 67 Mustang. Okay. I would make love to that car. Yeah. Okay. Well, it'd only be a couple minutes, so the car can handle it. That's okay. What, Brody? Brian, I would get my own room. You're close. We'll just kick your brother out. It'll be fine. (laughs) (laughs) So so does your mom. Um... Did you say that to my mom? You looked at me when you said that. No, I did not. Directly to my mom. I turned around to because I didn't want to say it directly to him because I. Your mom's a water slide, bro. (laughs) You were ten pound baby. (laughs) Your mom's a fucking champion, and she has a fucking awesome name. So, his mom's name's Joy too. Whatever. Anyways. Yeah, so I mean, other than that, I, what? I, hey, where's my where's my telephone? I had another story. Where has his telephone? Go get my telephone. His I had telephone. A no, I had a note on there that I was going to share with. I cannot the believe you took note. So <laughs> that get it? And, note. And why we're waiting? Oh, please, please. I was going to say, uh, 
but appreciated. You know, in the last few weeks we've had some feedback, some positive feedback by people. So we appreciate you, number one and number four, for the feedback. <laughs> number five, you need to get it together. And, and telling us that you like the show that meant a lot to us. So we appreciate you. It really does. And if you know anyone who needs to laugh or wants to feel better about themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Or maybe a little more. You know what? Fuck. You know, I was going to hang myself, but now I just, I heard that. And, and now I'm I just going to hang pictures. And now I just, you know what? Those people are fucked. <laughs> My life is not that bad. No, and I did appreciate it. It was cool. It was actually someone who reached out that I hadn't talked to in a long, long time. And they were like, dude, it's good stuff. You're on my regular rotation. And I thought, right on, dude. You know who you are. You're you awesome. You like to be in rotated. <laughs> I like to be rotisseried. Like the tires. Uh, oh, you need to change the oil in my car. Now you just put it out there for everybody to hear. I did. So somebody hit him up and be like, change your wife's oil in her car. Because she deserves it. She's a good person. I don't know person. what she deserves. No, you've been telling us stories today that I don't think you. I don't know. I don't think you're like as good as you think you are. Brody, do you understand why I don't want to open my Amazon package? I'm afraid to open it because if I open it and I don't like it, it's going to make me sad. So right yeah. now, it's the coolest present ever because I have not opened it. I was looking through here and I don't see. I think we addressed it. Was it was. It don't was, put your microphone down. Don't talk to me like that. Uh, yeah. What was it? Dang it. it I don't know. Bad. I had something else too, but I can't think of it. Well, me neither. And I got to get better at that part of it. You like, really? Kind of writing stuff. Don't you start telling me what to do. You just said I do, and I was agreeing. I was concurring with you. It was very titillating since. What was titillated? Oh, oh my do, 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 do. God. I like totals. Have you ever seen that epi- that meme where the kid says, I like totals? Okay, that's fucking funny. Yeah, we all saw it. You've been talking about the whole episode. I like totals. That's I like the name totals. of this episode. I, like, I like totals. I like totals. Without an R? Uh huh. Joy likes totals. I like totals. And and it was Jonathan. And is they, all, did you know the kid's name is and, Jonathan? And why did that start? Because I said, Where is the turtle with no arms and no legs? Where you left him. Right where you left him. <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> All righty then. Are we good? I guess. What else do you call a lady who doesn't work with one leg? I don't know, but I always thought it would be Eileen. cool. I always thought it would be cool when I was younger. My friend had this hot sister who had a wooden leg from the knee down. And mm-hmm. I used to tell him if I kick her leg out from under her, she couldn't get away from me. <laughs> She'd hit the ground and go in circles and I could get her. <laughs> when are you going to get her? <laughs> well, back then I was going to jump her. Oh my Take it. God. Make it mine. <gasps> Jonathan. She couldn't get away from me. All right. All right. He's a raper. You have a story? Yes. Come here. It's a cow. Come here. It's talk. It's a cow or a mitzvah. I'm my hand. All right. <laughs> All right. That's a dumb. We're not talking about the dog humping your hand. Oh, my God. Um. All right. Um. Goodbye. Yeah, well, good day. Goodbye. <laughs> Good day. Goodbye. And good day. And good day.